let us discuss about development of erythroblastosis fetalis. Erythroblastosis fetalis is the severe hemolytic disease of the newborn. Generally during pregnancy, the RBCs of fetus are separated from the maternal circulation by trophoblast. Trophoblast is a layer of cells in the placenta. During first pregnancy, the fetus having RBCs with Rh antigen develops normally within the uterus of mother having no Rh antigen on her RBC because mother is usually not exposed to enough fetal RBCs to activate her inactive Rh specific B cells. As in this case, mother does not express an Rh antigen on her RBCs, she is considered as Rh minus and the fetus expressing Rh antigen on its RBCs is considered as Rh plus. At the time of delivery, the placenta separates from the wall of uterus. As a result, larger amounts of RBCs of umbilical cord of fetus enter the maternal circulation. These fetal RBCs activate inactive Rh specific B cells. As a result, inactive Rh specific B cells become active. As a result, two types of cells are formed in mother. One is Rh specific plasma cell and another is memory B cells. The plasma cell secretes IgM antibodies or anti-RH IgM. The anti-RH IgM clears the fetal RBCs with RH antigen from the maternal circulation. But memory B cells remain within the mother's circulation. During second pregnancy with a RH plus fetus, the fetal RBCs with Rh antigen activates previously formed memory B cells. As a result, memory B cells become active. These activated memory B cells then form plasma cells. The plasma cells then secrete some antibodies called as IgG anti-RH antibodies. The IgG anti-RH antibodies then cross the placenta and bind to the RH antigen expressed on fetal RBCs. As a result of this binding, fetal RBCs are damaged. So, mild to severe anemia can develop in fetus. Sometimes, the fetus may face death due to severe anemia. The hemoglobins of damaged fetal RBCs are converted into bilirubin. The bilirubin is lipid soluble in nature. So, bilirubins may accumulate in the fetal brain. This bilirubin accumulation in brain causes brain damage. Now, we will discuss about prevention of erythroblastosis fetalis with rogum. To prevent erythroblastosis fetalis, mother is treated with rogum within 24 to 48 hours after the first delivery. Rogum are antibodies against the fetal Rh antigen. Rogum bind to antigens expressed on any fetal RBCs that enter maternal circulation at the time of delivery. This rogum binding facilitates the clearance of fetal Rh plus RBCs before B cell activation. So, rogum binding blocks B cell activation. Blocked B cell activation blocks memory cell formation. Now, some important points. The development of erythroblastosis fetalis can be detected 
by testing maternal serum at intervals during pregnancy for antibodies to Rh antigen. The presence of maternal IgG on the surface of fetal RBCs can be detected by a Coombs test. Coombs reagent used in Coombs test is goat antibody to human IgG antibody. Please like, subscribe and share.